Every year there are a number of teams that participate with David Swell through construction. The different types of construction that we've done are building houses, clinics, they've built aqueducts to provide fresh, clean water uh, for the villages. The houses that the Indians typically live in are thatched roof structures without walls. The thatch roof itself, actually a lot of the bats will burrow up in the thatch and a lot of the, uh, the children and families that we've met uh, actually have skin diseases and burns from where the urine from the bats would actually drip on them throughout the nights. So there's a lot of disease and uh, infections and stuff that comes. So when we do go build homes that are um, completely wood framing with a metal roof on it, it takes that, that disease and that infection scenario kind of out of their lives and allows them to, to live a more healthy life. From talking with Juan, you know, they go and it, they cut down the trees and they cut the lumber themselves out of the tree that's fallen down and then one by one they haul each piece of lumber down to a boat, drive it across the bay and then carry each piece um, to, to the job site that it's going to and the, when you imagine the lumber here compared to there, here it's kiln dried, lightweight, there when you drive a nail in it there's still water juicing out of it so it's each board weighs quite a bit. Um, so how they get it from where they go to where it ends up being, it, it's, a, it's a process because they're, they're, they're going through the jungle, through the wetlands. Teams also come down from the United States to build church buildings. Uh, usually these structures are very simple with just a, a roof and the columns supporting the roof. And then later the, the indigenous church builds the walls as they're able to afford those expenses. The local congregation provides the land and then the American team comes in and, and builds just the roof and the columns. So it's a really incredible uh, collaboration together, uh, empowering them and strengthening them, but not doing everything for them. The last uh, trip we just went on to Panama, we, uh, we were there and we built a school building. Uh, the school building there was, uh, there was too many kids going to school, so they were actually having class outside. More than 40 school buildings have been built over the years by teams coming down from the United States. When we built the building, it was just amazing to me. I'm sitting there thinking about how, how their lives were going to be different and how these kids would have to go in and sit down at a school desk and be able to learn for, for, for ages, you know. Uh, and it always amazed me that when you go there, they really don't know any different, you know. So to them, I don't know that they didn't think it was such a bad thing, but to us it's a culture shock from what we see as our schools here in Indiana, then go down there and see a bunch of kids learning um, schoolwork outside, you know, underneath a thatch roof. So when they would see the building get built and then be able to go inside and look around, they were totally amazed and just to see their, you know, their hearts light up. Mm -hmm.